Everyone sheds blood time to time, and if you don't, you're not human. So me being the wonderful and glorious Toby animates, I have a couple stories for you. And this video is gonna have to be two parts because I usually do three stories each video, and I have about five. So without further ado, let's get into the first story. When I was about five, I was pushing my Tom's the Train toys down the railing on my stairs, and when they hit the bottom, I would go down and pick them up and bring them back to the top of the stairs and do it again. And then I went to go get it, and I slipped on the stairs and fell all the way down and screamed. At the time, my stairs were so long that when I fell from the middle, it felt like I was falling forever until I hit the bottom. Luckily, my mom came down just in time, and she was able to stop the blood running from my nose and the bottom of my lip before it could get on our doormat. I was so relieved. That scarred me for life. And I still remember every last detail, but I can't explain it too much. And if I do, it's going to become pretty gross. So let's go on to my next story. Just a disclaimer for this story. I'll name my brother Cody for privacy reasons. Okay, now we can start the story. One summer day, me and my brother were playing Super Smash Bros. And then for some reason, I think my brother jerk to the side as a joke and I fell out of the chair and bashed my head on the corner of the table and cried a lot. I bolted down the stairs to my mom who was gracefully washing dishes as she watched outside the window. I whined to her saying my brother Cody shoved me off my chair on purpose and my head started to bleed which was not the case. I talked to him and he didn't mean to push me off the chair and make my head bleed at all. This was my perspective on the situation. Yay, I won! Stop bragging! <laughs> I 100% meant to push you off that chair and into the table and make your head bleed. Yep. Okay, back to the story. I whined and whined, then my mom asked if I saw any blood, and I touched the back of my head and showed her the blood. She couldn't do much, so the whole day I leaned my head down so the blood could go back in. Like when your nose starts to bleed, and you need to put your head back so the blood doesn't move forward out of your nose. Now, I don't sit next to tables anymore. Well, don't you sit next to tables when you eat? Quiet. Okay, next story. One day I woke up at four in the morning and realized that my nose was running. I thought it was running because that day it slept on my face. So I thought, okay, I'll just hop into the bathroom and get a tissue and wipe my nose. That's when I noticed once I turned the lights on that it wasn't exactly snot. Something worse, blood. My hands were covered in blood through the creases of my hand to the tips of my fingers. I've never seen so much blood once in my life. I couldn't yell because it was literally four in the morning. So I yelled in my mouth and ran around the bathroom. Then I realized I should probably let the blood off my hands, literally. So I went to get tissues when I noticed the tissues ran out. So I had to use toilet paper, then washed it and went back to sleep on my back this time. That's all the stories for this video, but if you want a part two, tell me in the comments below. Goodbye everybody and stay rested. Hello everybody, I hope you liked the video because this video took a while to come out because I'm not the fastest at making animations, which is shown by the drawing habit video. and. By the way, we're so close to 50 subscribers. And when we hit 50 subscribers, I'm gonna do a stream where I play some guitar songs for 50 subscribers. So yeah, stick around for that. I'll probably do it after I post a video saying I'm gonna do it. Then I'll also upload the stream, but edit out some parts and then you guys get to see it if you guys weren't on the stream. 
So goodbye everybody and yeah, see you in a bit.